All right, so we're going to see if Ashley can still play Bust the Move. She always brags how good she is at the arcade. When have I ever bragged to At the arcade one, you'd see it like, uh, like round table or something. Two bobs. Where's Bub? Yeah, well, but, Bob but there's Bob? two, just two green ones. There's no more aimer. Nobody on earth is gonna know Michelangelo's is, except like one of our subscribers who was unfortunate enough to have to eat there. For all intents and purposes, it was just a terrible pizza place. Oh gosh, you're so bad at this! I thought you were like a grandmaster of this, the way you talked. Why is it shaking like that? Oh, it, it falls down slowly? So you have to hurry up and get rid of those yellow ones, you're gonna die? Like, in Bubble Bobble, if you didn't have both of them, you would get the bad ending, and then like, you needed both. What? Why did that happen? I'm gonna edit this so it only shows you messing up. Dumb that it gave you a green one when you didn't need it. I guess you should have missed it on purpose, huh? You just have to wait for the next. Uh, yeah, I guess there's nothing you can do. You have about to it, wait. Huh? This is gonna be the most thrilling YouTube video. Maybe I'll put like a picture in picture of me playing Wreckfest on the other side. On the I'll, yeah, the other side. This is a tough one. Oh, a green one? That's not what you needed. How are you supposed to get past this one? Oh, oh no, no. Hurry. Glory. Oh, God. That was hard. Come on. Continue. At the arcade, you would be like, Daddy, Daddy, I need more quarters. -es. Daddy, I'm tired of eating the gross pizza. I want to play the game again. Daddy, why is mom stumbling around? Wait, why did he give you the aimer back? Daddy, why is mommy dancing on the table? I wanna, I've been listening to the last, I wanna, like, five minutes. I wanna play Boston Move Down, I need more quarters in. <laughs> the rest of it's accurate, though. 
Oof. I hope your family never sees these videos. Daddy, the pizza tastes like cardboard! Why does the cheese have newspapers in it? Maybe it'll get harder in a second. That's what she said. Uh, that is kind of family friendly because the kid's not going to know what that means. And if they do know, then that's on the parent. It's not my fault. First pick or something. Why? Because cause him? no, because he's. I don't think he's gonna be a, a first round pick. Your team's gonna be so. I'm bad. also gonna get. Ah, she's just getting players that she like thinks are cool people, and her team's gonna be so bad. And she doesn't even say his name properly. She just says Montrez instead of Montrezl. Inside these bubbles, are those like little fetuses? Are these eggs? Are they popping into? They're like little alien fetuses, like alien. Every town in America, and probably other countries too, like has like a crappy pizza place that for some reason people go to. Just because maybe nostalgia or because it's like fun to be there. No. It's fun to see middle-aged people like drink too many pitchers of cheap American beer and stumble around. like rattling on about nothing and playing like a super relaxing song and there's no stakes in this game there's not a lot of violence or action it's just kind of like eh. what the heck was that
You are a lunatic, is what you are. Oh, that was nice. Like, I pretended I was like... Hey, get the water bubble, hurry, it's gonna, get, it's gonna kill you. What does that do? You're like LeBron making a three in Curry's face, even yeah. though he had missed like I the just, previous I, yeah. 20 shots in a row. I just... What happens if you don't do it what it's supposed to? Find no. out and lose? No, maybe. exactly what like maybe they shipped drugs or something i don't know but it was like ronald reagan and uh me and this other guy were like we were trying to infiltrate it and like uh like blend in with the bad guys and then and make our way to the control tower and then plant a bomb on it but he like came up to us and he had like the evil airport like pledge of allegiance written down on a piece of paper and he wrote it down wrong on purpose and told us to to say the pledge of allegiance and then we said it wrong because, you know, it was wrong on the piece of paper that he had. And so he knew we were spies. And then I pulled out his weird little, like, dark gun. And I shot him in the face. And I thought he would die. But he was, like, invincible. And it barely hurt him at all. And he was like, get them! And all his, like, guys started chasing us. And so we ran towards the control tower to put the bomb on it. And then the guy I was with, he, he didn't make it. He, he got blasted, like, immediately. And I, I was Richard. running. I was running for my life. And, uh... I, I remember getting to the tarmac, and then I think I woke up. I don't think I completed my mission. But I very vividly remember um, fighting Ronald Reagan. You know, but... It, and it was, like a, it was like a President Ronald Reagan era, too. You know, kind of the gray hair. Well, not super old, but a little bit old. Not... Yeah, not... Definitely not, like, cowboy macho man days, but... Remember your dreams if you wake up in them, and I think I was rudely woken up this morning by something. Like a car going by or a text. I believe it was your brother. Well, my phone was on silent. I don't know. But if it wasn't for that, then I wouldn't know my uh, Ronald Reagan dream, so it was worth it. What are you doing? There's totally living creatures inside these balls. Yeah, you know, they're the bad guys. They're the bad guys from Bubble Bobble. Yeah, there's the little the witchy ones that throw the fireballs at you. Those are the little bouncy guys that you said were cute. Those are the little robots from the first level. Yeah, these are totally the bad guys from Bubble Bobble. Is Bobble. this the same game? Well, it's like a... It's like a... I don't know what you would call it. Like a... Spin-off. A sequel? No, it's like a spin-off of Bubble Bobble. You're, you're done, Zos. It's a spin off of it. Oh, yeah, it's Bob right. and Bob. Yeah, same guys. Me and my brother had this game and we used to play it all the time as a kid. Not this. No, the Bubble Bobble. But we, and then we'd hook up our Game Genie and then we'd get the cheat codes for the lives because otherwise it was just too hard. A Game Genie was like this special cartridge that you hooked up to the Nintendo game before you put it in the Nintendo. And it, it changed variables in the game, and you, people would use it for like cheat codes, and it came with a book. And you would put in these really long, complicated codes, and then when you turn the game on, it would it would have cheat codes enabled. So it was like this weird after party, I mean aftermarket thing that you would just add to your Nintendo. It was like a it was like a big shiny gold fake cartridge that attached to your real cartridge, and then it would stick out of your Nintendo like six inches. It was really weird. No, my parents didn't give me a Power Wheels either, I really wanted one. 
Yeah, you were spoiled. I'm sorry, too. <laughs> Dough boy swimming pool. I had a whole sandbox and a little like swing set and all that built in my backyard. And we had a dog. No, uh, yeah, we had a German Shepherd. Sorry, but my German Shepherd would have eaten your Akita for breakfast. Why German Shepherd was? Anything came into our backyard got eaten immediately. Bird, cat, possum, rat, little dog. Didn't matter. Oh my gosh, you're gonna lose. This is gonna go on record as like the most longest and most boring YouTube video of all time. And it's not gonna get as many views as my stupid firefighting video, which for some reason has 200 views, when like every other one of my videos is like 3 views. Though. I didn't drink tonight. I drank yesterday. I had some good, uh, oh gosh, what brand was I had to go check. It was next to the bottle of Rittenhouse. Those are the ghost guys, and then the, they fly around in the wall. What about ghosts? We, I think they're like floating whale things. All the bugs are gonna get our sunflowers tonight. We tried growing sunflowers in our backyard, and uh, every day, like, something comes and, like, bites them and ruins them. And there's only, like, four left, maybe five left, and they're all dead. That is kind of a sucky. How'd that go through? I could, uh, like, change the music out of this video and put in, like, some, like, super heavy metal or something so it makes it seem more, more extreme than it really is. I'll play, like, something from, like, the Doom soundtrack. Doom? Doom! D O O M, not tune. We should have a video where we discuss Kyle McLaughlin and Dune. Coming don't, out? Don't feel like seeing it. Don't care enough. Without McLaughlin, what's the point? I'll let Red Letter Media do a review of the new Dune, and that's what I'll watch. I wish they would do more Nerd Crew videos. I think they got rid of the set, though. I think it's because that whole William Shatner thing. William Shatner is a confused old man. He doesn't know what's going on anymore. It's fine. He's done his... His duty. No, 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 that was Mystery Science Theater 3000. Reach, reach for reach for the gun. Um, it's funny because Red Letter Media is, I think, really careful to never mention Mystery Science Theater 3000. Why? I I guess they just don't wanna like they're say different. like say like they're leeching off of them. Yeah. 
And the, even even Mystery Science Theater 3000 wasn't the first one to do that by any means. But I, I've noticed that some of the movies that they do on Best of the Worst have been on Mystery Science Theater, and they don't um, mention it, which is strange because you know they've seen it. I, the only time I've, I've seen them mention Mystery Science Theater, I think, is on the UHF review, where they talk about how Weird Al originally wanted Joel Hodgson to be uh, in UHF. But Joel Mike Hodgson, wasn't in that episode, though. No, it was just a review, but Joel Hodgson didn't want to be in it. I don't think he was ever comfortable in front of the camera, either. Some of the original Mystery Science Eaters are just so funny, though. I, I would love to get the full series somewhere, but it's hard. I think there's, like, rights issues with it. I mean, different streaming sources have different, but I've never seen one that just has all of them. Like, the, the Gamera episode is really good. The weird Russian fairy tale Christmas one is really good. Um, the, the, one, the one with the cult... Uh, and Zap Rousdower. I forget the name of the movie is. That one is so funny. Zap Rousdower? Is that a stupid name? It, yeah, it was, you know, before the Mystery Science Theaters, they would have a uh, short. Uh, because the movie wasn't long enough to really do the whole episode, so they would kind of pad them with some shorts from the 50s and 60s. And it was a short on, like, for children on how to manage their money. And had a creepy, like, shadow Benjamin Franklin as, like, the host, t teaching the kids how to handle their money. And, uh, that Mystery Science Theater was just so funny. I really liked shorts, a lot of the national movies many times. They were hilarious. Oh, yeah, those shorts. Because short some of the things that they would talk about in the 50s were so, like, by our standards, are so offensive today. It's really funny looking back and seeing them. This YouTube video has turned into a podcast. No, a podcast with nothing interesting said. That was a long pause, you know. <laughs> I, I like him in shakes if I can get him ground, ground up engine. enough. Where I don't, I'm not getting chunks of blueberries. I know they're good, they're full of antioxidants, but, you know. I, I don't think they taste like very much. They're kind of just like, you know, there. Oh, you're about to lose. Good thing this video is going to be shot in 4K. It's so necessary. Salmic vinegar and honey. Well, yeah, they had a good flavor. I don't like them if they're not fried and covered in sauces and oils, which basically eliminates the point of eating a vegetable, anyways. Mom never really made Brussels sprouts, but she made no. Um, Alfalfa sprouts. We had those and salads and stuff. Yeah, I know. They're they're stupid. I don't like them either. What was that? Oh, you're just losing it now. What are you doing? Oh man, I'm tired. Oh. You want to turn the sound off in the game and put on some death metal? we should really talk about is the untimely death of Charles Grodin. Yeah, he was he was like 116, but it was still an untimely death. For anyone who listens to this, I don't know why you would on Earth at all. There's no reason. Yeah, if you made it this far, There's no reason to ever listen to this video. But if you do, please check out the movie Clifford starring Martin Short and Charles Grodin and Mary Steenburgen. Great film. 
It'll completely change the way you look at like 46 year old men playing 12 year old boys in movies. Or maybe it won't, like, maybe it'll reaffirm your view of it. I don't, I actually don't know, but it's a great movie to watch. Also, the little kid from Boy Meets World was in it, right? Ben Savage, or one, one of the Savages. Oh, is it Ben Savage? Is that the older one? No. No, 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 no it is a, Ben. Yeah, you're right, Boy Meets World. Yes. What's the other one? Fred. It's not Fred, it's Ben. Yeah, yeah. Wonder Years, I, I have a complicated relationship with Wonder Years. I used to watch it growing up, but going back, it's so depressing. It's like those years of your life are terrible. Like, I don't need to relive somebody else's. Especially in such a terrible period in human history. We watched a couple episodes, and it was just like, yeah, it's good, it's well acted. Robert Picardo was great in it as the gym teacher, of course, but, it, you know, it's just at the end of the day, like, do we need more depressing things right now? You know, that's just gonna drag on and on. Robert Picardo may be the latest, the greatest living actor of our time. Mm-hmm. Have any strong feelings about Hugh Jackman? He was definitely wrong you know for the part. He was wrong for the part of Wolverine because he's about three feet too tall. But I mean, he did fine with the role. But according to the comics, he's way too tall. I don't think he should have been. You know how I feel. About I don't him. think he should have been Jean Valjean either in Les Mis. But no, okay, Russell Crowe shouldn't have been anything ever. But I don't. You know, I don't like the background of his level. It's freaking me out. I don't know, I just don't like it. What? What are you doing? I'm gonna laugh so hard at the video I've been turned off this whole time by accident. And it's it just us, <laughs> us just talking to each other for like, pointless and no reason while playing a game. This video is going to be so long and stupid, oh my god. I should just cut out every time I say something, so it just seems like you're a crazy person. Or just end up coming out of the video too, just like, blank where I am. game I saw in my uh, Origin game the other day, and I thought, hey, maybe I actually should play this stupid game, was uh, Zuma's Revenge, I think it's called, or oh, Zuma? I love Zuma's Revenge. I don't know if it's called Revenge, but it's one of those Zuma games. And I also have Peggle, but I don't like that name, it makes me uncomfortable, but the, remember, it's like, a, it's one of those ones, where it's like the things drop down. And... But Zuma's Revenge, I figured we could do that's that'd be a throwback. Like every cell phone before smartphones, like Zuma was like the top tier game you could get. But what, like, what was it? It was like, oh, I was like, explaining how something was like my favorite part of a movie or something. <laughs> like, stop mansplaining. I was like, well, I'm just saying what my favorite part of the movie was. Then he... <laughs> That's right. And then another friend's wife came into our house and like, then she like pooped in our bathtub and then went out the window and we were super cute. And she just like, why did, like, why did this happen to us? That was a weird dream. 
awkward yeah, because he, he had to go he just, find her. He just walked out. Well, she like escaped through the window in our bathroom after pooping in our bathtub. It was weird. Nah, I think it was just I just think it was just in the tub. And it, I we were both we were both more like concerned than angry. We're like, what? What does this mean? When you So stupid. You just need one more red one on. I was actually thinking about getting the new Dragon Ball Z game on Steam when it goes on sale. It's been out for a few months now. But when I was playing that other like GameCube Dragon Ball Z game, it like it was fun. Like made me want to play those games again. Remember we used to play Budokai Tenkaichi on the Wii, I think? Or was it the Wii U? I don't know, one of those systems. What does that noise mean? The brain! You're gonna have to die soon, because this video is, like, already way too long. And now if I edit... What the heck was that? If I edit some of it out too, then, like, none of it makes sense. Playing this game, all right. I'll bet you a million dollars. No one's ever gonna make it through this entire video. Oh. I'm. I'm, I, I'm I would not give even, you a million dollars I'm, if you made it through this video. I'm not even gonna make it through editing. Like I'm probably just gonna like edit like chunks where there's maybe problems. I'm not gonna listen to something again. I thought this would last maybe like ten minutes or something. And you're, you're still going. But you were never this good at Michelangelo's pizza. You need Daddy, I need more quarters. Like almost immediately. I was there. I was always there watching. It's like the it's time. Really it's like a time traveler's wife. Oh, you suck! You could have won right there. Yeah, you were like Dennis Schroeder, screwing everything up. That's it, this video is over. Dang it. Don't try it. Why would you try that? You're so bad. <laughs> the video's over! Down, you're done. Yes, thank you. All right, thank you, everyone. Good night. Bye. I'm going to bed now. This video's over.